An automotive clutch is found on the vehicles with manually shifted transmissions and it transmits torque from the engine to the transmission. For a manual transmission clutch, it is positioned between the engine's crankshaft and the transmission housing on an input shaft inside the bell housing. Driver controls clutch application from inside the vehicle with a clutch bidder. The principle of the clutch is to connect and disconnect one rotating mechanical component from another. Most light vehicles use a, a single plate friction type desk with two friction facings. The friction facings are clamped between the flat surface of the engine flywheel and the spring loaded pressure plate bolted to its outer edge. The friction facings are attached to the central hub splint to accept the transmission input shaft. With engine rotation, the flywheel and clutch are simply rotate as one unit. Engine torque is transferred from the flywheel through the friction facings to the splint hub and into the transmission. Two or more clutch plates can be used to form a multi-plate clutch, increasing the number of facings and torque capacity. The flywheel is the clutch driving member. The clutch unit is mounted on the flywheel's machined rear face so that the unit rotates with the flywheel. The flywheel is bolted securely to a flange at the rear of the engine's crankshaft. In addition to the uses of the flywheel in running the engine, it provides surface for the clutch desk to work on, and it works as a heat sink for clutch. The clutch unit consists of a friction type desk, a pressure plate assembly, a release bearing, and operating fork. The clutch desk contains friction facings which are riveted to both sides of caution plate. 
Cushion plate is divided into wavy parts and is riveted to desk plate. These wave springs are gradually compressed when the clutch is connected and thus act as a cushion, which helps to smoothly engage the clutch and prevent the car from shaking when it starts moving. Clutch hub is the inner part of the clutch desk and has plans for transmission input shaft. There is also a set of tensional coil springs installed in their own cavities in the hub flange. These springs work to absorb torsional oscillations and thus the engine oscillations are not transmitted to the gearbox. The pressure plate assembly is bolted to the outer edge of the flywheel face. Pressure plate is spring-loaded device that presses the clutch disc against the flywheel. Diaphragm style pressure plate uses a belly belly spring. Depressing the fingers of the diaphragm releases the plate allowing the clutch disc to spin freely. In the coil spring clutch, coil springs are used instead of a, a diaphragm spring and levers are used to pull back the pressure plate when the clutch is disengaged. The coil spring clutch uses a perpendicular coil spring that acts directly behind the pressure plate to supply clamping force. Pressure plate springs are preloaded when the clutch cover is assembled at the factory. Springs are compressed further when the cover assembly is bolted to the flywheel. Release levers are attached to cover assembly at pivot points. By pushing clutch pedal, it moves pivot lever and pulls pressure plate away from the flywheel. When the clutch is engaged, the pressure plate exerts 1,000 to 3,000 pounds of force on the desk. Clutch release bearing is the bearing that reduces friction between the clutch fork and the pressure plate. It moves toward flywheel when pedal pushed. The release bearing drops against the diaphragm spring and depresses the pressure plate fingers, releasing the clutch. The clutch release bearing contains a bearing that spins along with the spinning pressure plate as the clutch pedal is depressed. Clutch fork is the lever that forces the release bearing into the pressure plate. Clutch fork has pivot shaft, pivot bowl, or is the area in the bell housing of which it pivots. The clutch pedal linkage moves the clutch fork, which then applies a force against the release bearing, which then releases the clamping force that the pressure plate is exerted on the clutch disc. When the clutch pedal is pressed, the movement is transferred through the operating mechanism to the operating fork and the release bearing. 
The release bearing moves forward and pushes the center of the diaphragm spring towards the flywheel. The diaphragm pivots on its fulcrum rings, causing the outer edge to move in the opposite direction and act on the pressure plate retraction clamps. The pressure plate disengages and drive is no longer transmitted. Releasing the pedal allows the diaphragm to reapply its clamping force and engage the clutch and drive is restored. The outer cable is fixed to the pedal box inside the bike and to the clutch housing in the engine compartment. The inner cable connects between the upper end of the clutch pedal and an external lever on top of the clutch housing. This lever is connected to a vertical shaft supported in the housing and attached internally to a release fork. In hydraulic clutch control, the pedal acts on a master cylinder connected by a hydraulic pipe and a flexible hose to a slip cylinder mounted on the clutch housing. The slip cylinder operates the clutch release fork. When the pedal is pressed, a piston in the master cylinder compresses fluid into the hydraulic line toward the slip cylinder. That fluid pressure activates the slip. When slip cylinder is activated, a rod extends from the slip cylinder to press against the release fork.